Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just finished up editing my November 2020 bow hunt vlog, and I want to apologize in advance for all my followers that really stick to my tech reviews of earbuds and earphones and things of that nature. These videos are for my personal use, but I'd love to share them on my channel for those of you that may be interested in seeing how my life goes outside the studio. So for those of you that may have missed last year's 2019 bow hunt vlog, I will post it right here, pause this video, watch that one, and then get ready for season two. Oh, so you are sticking around. I knew I could count on you guys. All right, grab your best pair of headphones, turn up the volume, and enjoy my ridiculous vlog 2020 bow hunt. Does this look familiar? Same outfit as last year, hat. At least I still fit in the same clothes, that's a plus. Actually, I've lost a little bit of weight, thank God. I know for some of you are gonna say, where? Oh! Whatever. Anyhow, this is gonna be a bow hunt vlog, Brandon style, coming at ya. We have to get all the hunting gear. The bow and clothes, all into the truck. But there's a catch, that's just the hunting gear. I haven't shown you all the camera gear. Yeah, so all of that has to go in the truck as well. We have tripods and camera bag and then all my camera gear is in there. And I'll tell you who's gonna miss me, this little lady right here. Are you gonna miss Daddy? Huh? Are you gonna miss Daddy? Oh, God, baby, I love you too, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, Daddy gonna miss you. Yes, I am. I love you. You know what I love about editing? This. Huh? <laughs> All packed up. Yep, so we're ready to get on the road. Uh, usually takes about two hours, so uh, maybe we'll get some footage of me driving on the road. One more thing. Come in. They're arguing about sports. Nice, I'm leaving. For I love you. Mm, I'll see you I'll in a little bit. Be safe, so don't fall out of the tree. I'll try not to. Love you. All right, I think I got everything. You know, my motto was always, if you forgot to pack it, you buy it. <laughs> I'm just fooling. You are one of those that wear a mask while you're driving, are ya? You. Well, we are exactly one hour away. I didn't want to bore you guys through most of the travel. So, and I also didn't want to gross you out with all the deer carcasses that I've been seeing on the road on the way. It is the rut season, so deer are moving around quite a bit and they want to cross the expressway and semis don't give them any right away so they just slam into them and drag them a half a mile and uh, yeah it looks like World War Z out here. The weather is definitely going to be nice uh, while we're up there. Actually not so much good for hunting as it is for filmmaking. Uh, yeah it's going to be really nice weather for me to be out there and film and not freeze my tail off but as far as hunting goes, you want it a little colder than the high 60s, mid 60s, and that's what it's gonna be up there in Beaverton. All right, I guess we'll get some more travels when we hit the Zawaki Bridge. So until then, I will catch you in a bit. 
And here we are. Wow, that was pretty darn quick. Ladies and gentlemen, the Zawaki Bridge. It is a pretty big bridge. Flip this back around here. All right, anyway, yeah, I'm all over the road. You know, a lot of people are all over the road because they're on their cell phones. No, no, not Brandon. Brandon's just vlogging. Who cares, right? Folks, do not try this at home. This I do not recommend. All right, so it is saying that we have exactly 45 minutes left on our trip. So probably the next segment will be me arriving to the cottage. So, all right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, we have arrived. And of course, nobody's here to greet me as far as my buddies go. John's dad is here and he greeted me. I wanted to show you guys, last year you may have seen me out on the dock talking with the nice lake behind me. That is that we stay at right there. And we do some fishing out here too as well. It's awesome. It's really good fishing too here, so. Well, guess what? That has all changed. That's Wixom Lake right there, and it's drought. All drought. So there's like one little stream going on there, and that's it. Uh, it's all dry land now. So I guess we could go out there and walk around, I suppose, if anybody wants to. All right, well, we'll get some footage later when the fellas show up. Look at your ears for. Yeah, that looked like a good shot. What do you think? What do you think? He must think he's dirty hairy. That looked like a good shot. Look at this. Look at this clown. That is a long shot. <laughs> What? What? What do we got there? Uh, oh, that's nice. Oh, it's a little bit of a buzz haircut. Oh yeah, adjust the uh, ISO on this thing. The ISO, baby. Look at this thing. It's a light piece. Can you take piece. the gray out? Can I take the gray out? No, I don't think so. There we go. I don't think I can take your gray out, but. Oh. What do we got going on here? Oh, look at this. That's the best part right here. You know what, you want a bigger plate underneath there, Tom? Oh, yeah, this one's starting to bend. That ain't no good plate. I'm just waiting for everybody to leave from the rest. I'm thinking about just All right, I gotta go eat. Hi, Mr. J. I got you now. Oh, and he's got his hair all nice and combed. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> so right now, Mr. J is back at it, cooking like he always has done here in the past. He's done lots of things. I don't know. Hey, oh, you get hell no. Hey, you get out of my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely getting out of his kitchen. We don't want to get stuck with a knife. What's that? Oh, two sides. That first night I was there, I saw a bunch of you. What are you getting into, Tom? Yeah. Power pellets. <laughs> Him and I, I was uh, grunted a couple of times and he could hear it. And then... Um... Oh, you keep talking. I'm just catching some roll here. So, uh, John, would you like to explain this is a what secret. you today? This is a secret. <laughs> what, that kind of underwear? Yeah. Nice. nice. So, uh, would you like to explain what you saw this morning? This morning we had 13 does and 9 different bucks. In one sitting. In one sitting. Within two hours. And, and of course, Brandon didn't do shit but sleep. But hey, I got some sleep. That's the important part. You but it sounds like body. it's a morning thing then, eh? Yes. It was nice and cool this morning. Awesome. 
That's great, man. That that was, that's what makes waking up that early in the morning and getting out there in the cold weather, suiting up. It's all worth it, 100%. Sweet. Uh, so what's going on there, Larry? Drink. <laughs> oh, you already got yourself a cup of coffee? Yeah. Uh, Larry, look at this. You're looking at my. <laughs> No, I'm not. No, believe me, you are centered in the shot. Trust me. Larry, right here. No, I don't want to. I hate looking at the camera. That way you're looking the thing at makes the, me nervous. That way you're looking at the viewer. Dude, the thing right. makes me nervous. I hate you're it. fine. Really? Yeah, you're fine. I've got to be able to go, man. i got to record. He uh, tried to hit me with a knife. He was making my breakfast. Kick me ass out. Hey, what are you in the middle of flipping an egg? Hey, you. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you get it done out of my kitchen, huh? <laughs> mm, I love food mittens. Uh, definite uh, awesomeness of most of this trip is this right here, this little contraption that we call a Keurig. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that definitely helps. <sighs> <laughs> Why did anybody tell me I had so many chins? <laughs> So the cool thing is, is my little uh, station for dumping the footage. Thank you, Asus. Thank you. Don't get no better than this. There we go. I'm in the shot now. Yeah, it's definitely eight for blogging. All right, 10 left. This one. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, boy. Uh, well, we'll go. We'll go to yours first. Then we'll go get mine. <laughs> All right. So basically, what we're doing is we're getting ready to. Uh, go move some tree stands and uh, just check out the uh, wilderness, maybe look for some signs. So let's get some footage in the truck. I think I'm going in this way. Oh yes, nice room. We're here with Jacoby at Guide Service. <laughs> and they're going hunting for deer today. They're gonna move a stand. Don't tell my secrets. My secrets are out. <laughs> All right, boys, have fun. You guys, did you guys call each other when you decided to dress today, or? They got dressed together. I think they did. They coordinated. Well, as you can see, this is the great up north in Michigan, and there's nothing better than God's country up here, for sure. Look how beautiful it is. Finally, we can breathe without a mask. So we're waiting on uh, John and Tom to get out of the woods. We didn't want to all go back there and trample around and uh, ruin the area and s smell it all up for the deer. So, yeah, I hear a big deer now. <gasps> oh, look at the head on that one. Look at the size of the head on that one. <laughs> We're learning from the best guide in the world, Kubiak's Guide Service. Oh yeah. Looks like we stumbled upon somebody's old tree stand that's been here quite a while. Well, that something that's going way up there. Bring that back down. Mind you, we don't intend on taking it or messing with it because somebody else's, it doesn't belong to us. Take note of that. Thumbs up. Doesn't look like anybody's using no, it in no, a long time. No. Okay, you can see right here, Tom. I guess they were on this grass line. Shit, maybe I'll come out and hunt it tonight. <laughs> even after I did my thing about not messing with people's shit. Hey, what is you that? never said anything about not using it. I didn't it. say I wouldn't hunt it. Yeah, you said you wouldn't take it.
looks like we got a little rub going on here. Yeah. Don't miss one, Brandon. All right, got a better one up there. Coming. Trail. Oh, yeah. Larry's homemade pizza. Look at that. Who said hunting camp has to be rustic, right? <laughs> nice. That's for lunch. Oh, baby. The shrooms. Oh, let's see the final, final product. Oh, look at that. Oh. Not familiar with the oven. That's a, that's why there's a color difference. But here, hold it. Well, hold on. Let me let me finish cutting it. We'll cut that one piece. I got it. <laughs> Get a plate, Ron. I got one. That one's good. <laughs> He's ready. You want that big one? Well, it was definitely an awesome hunt this morning. I saw an eight point chasing a doe and then the doe came in and through my area and I was hoping that the buck was going to come in as well, but the buck just held its ground. Oh, the breeze feels so good. Well, I did not take my camera with me. It's quite cumbersome up in the tree stand and I, I wanna be safe. So I usually use my phone if I see any deer. And that is what I recorded the buck and the doe this morning with. So without any further ado, here's what I got to see this morning. If it had been gun season, it had been all over for Mr. Buck, but seeing how it's bow season, it's his lucky day. 
I tell you, there is nothing more rewarding is to get up in the morning, get your gear on, go out there in the woods, sit, watch the sunrise, and see deer. And that has made the trip worth it 100%. So for those who have never been up in the great Michigan outdoors, I made a nice little tribute just for you. Enjoy. So I'm extremely sweaty right now. I want to get out of these clothes and go get myself a nice breakfast and a cup of coffee. So I'll be catching you guys soon. Any step could take his life. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's awesome, man. Hey. But uh, we did manage to get up, get dressed, and now we're out here. So I'm gonna give it one last hunt, and I will let you know how I do. So I'm going in there, and hopefully coming out with a big buck or a good story. Well, although I didn't see anything today, I still had a great time up here. Yesterday's morning made all the difference in the world, but yeah, I think we got out a little too late today. Well, the only thing left to do now is to get back to uh, the cottage, pack up, and uh, get on the road. So we'll be back with you in a bit. So this is going to end this trip. Hey, nice long John's John. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did you see any deer today? No deer. No deer today. But there is the, the lake I was talking about earlier. Well, there's no lake. It's just drought. So hopefully that'll come back so there'll be some good fishing again. What you doing there, Mr. Thomas? 
Packing up your stuff, are ya? Loading up. Loading up. So this was a good trip. This was a great trip. It uh, weather was a little bit uh, warmer than we would like, but other than that, we got to see deer in the morning. It was a more of a morning hunt than an evening hunt, that's for sure. It's good though for us to get. It was. It was. It was awesome. It worked out well. I'm ready to come back. Boy, what what happened to that forehead? You want to explain that? I got hoofed. He's trying to help the neighbors pick up uh, a deer to hoist it up on the chain. <laughs> so he could and hang he, it. And he got and hoofed. I bent over and stuck my forehead into a deer hoof. Tom, always a pleasure. It's always a good time. Love this guy. We've been hunting for many, 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 many years. It was so, good. Yeah, it was. It was a fun trip. All right, let's go good. say goodbye to John. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap this up and uh, get on the road. It's only a two hour trip. It's another beautiful, gorgeous day for a drive. Ready to go, huh? No sense staying around here. Damn right, man. We got crap to do at home. Plus, you got some kids that are in love with you and want you home. Do you blame them? No, I don't blame them. If I was your kid, I'd love you. But since I'm not and I'm just your friend, I still love you. Hey, this is the goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. kiss. Thank you for having me. Uh, Anytime. Yeah. Always welcome. Good, good trip. Thank you again for inviting me. Love this guy, man. Love him. He's a good friend of mine. Been for a very long time, and this uh, this is a fun place to stay and, and you know drink, right? We did that last night. A little bit. Just a little. All right, I'm gonna shut this off so I can help him clean up a little bit, and we'll get on the road. Well, it is the end of the trip. Unfortunately, we gotta go back to reality and get ourselves back into the grind of working and everything else. So yeah, I'm not gonna bore you guys with the ride home as usual. I hope you enjoy the video when it comes out. I'm gonna work extra hard to make it entertaining for you guys because I love y'all. Oh, here he goes. Yeah, see, people don't like, people don't like uh, going slow down here, man. They're gonna warm, yeah, go right around me. Yeah, the, uh, the residents of Beaverton, you know, I'm not going fast enough, sorry. But I am vlogging, I mean, like, is he vlogging? No, no, he's not, I'm vlogging. So I thought I would share a little treat with you guys, seeing that the world is upside down right now with so many things going on, election and the uh, pandemic and all this crappy news. It, it just seems like 2020 has been absolutely horrible for so many people. So what better way to end the video is with a fortune cookie. And I did bring one for the road. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. Everyone needs a good fortune with everything that's been going on. So without any further ado, let's see if I can drive with my knee. Do not try this at home, by the way. Absolutely not. Do not do what I do. Just like what I do. Just don't do what I do. All right, here we go. Look at that. Oh God, it's a long one too. <laughs> That's always fun to read while you're driving. Okay, here we go, real quick. You will be a great success, both in business and socially. Well, that makes me happy. Sounds like a good YouTube channel to me. Mm-hmm, mm. and I didn't bring a stale one. All right, guys, we're gonna go through this small town, which is nice and slow, 25 miles an hour. Don't forget to drop me a comment down below. It's always a pleasure to hear what's on your mind. Like and share the video as it helps my channel grow tremendously. And you guys know, I'll be seeing you. Let me know.